Throughout this task, I will be discussing my personal education history, the influence this has on my motivation and approach to teaching, and the insights and ideas that Chapter 4, The Aims of Education, of Nell Nodding's Happiness in Education, has presented. I thoroughly enjoyed my journey as a learner. I attended a state primary school and a state high school, and I was lucky enough to have amazing teachers all throughout my journey. In primary school, I found that I was naturally inclined to perform well in areas such as maths and science, as I had set answers that I could work towards finding. This then meant I faced difficulties when studying creative subjects, as well as English, as I am not naturally a creative person, and I struggled to form original ideas. Although I found myself struggling in my younger years, as I wasn't performing as well as some of my peers in English and art subjects, my teachers understood that, as everyone does, I have my own strengths and weaknesses that I can work on. My year four teacher was my first teacher who had a significant impact on my learning journey. Even at a young age, I was able to realise the impact that an accommodating and inclusive teacher had on my learning. She believed that all students had the ability to reach their potential, so she took the time to get to know each of her students well in order to ensure she would teach in a way that would accommodate all of her students' learning styles. She also strived to make learning as enjoyable, as well as making it very clear to us why we were learning the specific content and subjects, relating it to real-world scenarios. When analysing my personal learning history, I have been able to analyse my past teachers' teaching styles and unpack the effectiveness of these learning styles and whether they were enabling for students or hindered their ability to learn. I will now be able to apply this knowledge to my future teaching practices to ensure I am provi providing the most engaging and effective form of education possible while all my students understand why they are learning the content. This form of engaging education can be supported by Nell Nodding's philosophy of education, which revolves around the central idea of happiness and aims talk, as stated in Happiness and Education by Noddings, 2003. Throughout this reading, she delved into the topic of aims talk, arguing that it is an essential part of education. She makes it evident through her writing that it is necessary to provide students with a deeper understanding of why they are learning the specific content and subjects, rather than just providing them with basic objectives and goals for each lesson. Nodding's belief of the importance of Ames talk and philosophy that happiness and education can be intertwined strongly reinforces my year four teacher's teaching philosophy. My teacher believed that although students should strive towards their own individual level of academic success, the happiness and enjoyment of education is most important for children as it engages them and makes them more willing to learn. Throughout Nodding's text, she argues that the main purpose of education is happiness. This strongly aligns with and reinforces my teaching philosophy as I will continuously strive to ensure all of my students enjoy learning and are as happy while doing so. I also believe that by ensuring AIMS talk is effectively discussed between both myself and my colleagues as well as my students, I will be providing the highest quality of education possible while ensuring my students develop a thorough understanding of each lesson and why they are learning it. By promoting happiness in education, it promotes more than just academic success. No matter the academic results of the students, enforcing a happy learning environment will ensure students want to learn and want to produce the best possible work they can. Overall, the way the content is taught has a lasting impact on students, so it is essential to make it as engaging and as enjoyable as possible. When progressing in my teaching journey, I will be utilising Nell Nodding's philosophies of AIMS talk and happiness in education, as well as drawing on my personal experiences with my teachers throughout my learning journey to, say, to shape my educational practices.